So here we introduce the chain rule of differentiation. Let's start with function f of x, which we define as a function g of some input argument, but that input argument now is a function itself, h of x. Now, if you have such a function that can be characterized in this way, then the derivative of that function, f prime of x, is equal to g prime of h of x times h prime of x. So this is pretty abstract as you can see it here and it will hopefully make much more sense if we are talking about an example. So here's our function f of x. That function is defined as follows. 3 times x to the third plus 5 and that entire uh, term, that entire sum to the 5 again. So 3x cubed plus 5 to the 5. Now this inner part, this is what we now declare to be h of x. And then that outer part, that taking to the power of 5, that is g. Now that is of course g of h of x, because the argument to the g function is the entire h function. So in g of h of x is of course nothing else but h of x to the 5. So let's calculate the, the derivative f prime of x. Let's do this step by step. The easiest part is really the h prime x because we have h x defined as 3 times x to the third plus 5. Now calculating the derivative of this, h prime x is not so difficult. That's merely 9x squared. So now the somewhat more complicated part where we have to be quite careful. So let's highlight in green what we need. g prime of h of x. That's what we need. Now down here we have written down what g of h of x is. That's h of x to the fifth. So calculating the derivative is 5 times h of x to the power of 4. So that is the g prime part and the argument will just be the original h of x. So that is 3x cubed plus 5. Let's, let's go through a second example, hopefully to bed these ideas in. So we have a new function f of x. In this case, the function is 7 times e to the, now the exponent is 8 plus 3x to the negative 2. So let's use some colors again to hopefully uh, make it clearer what we are looking at here in our context. So first we want to figure out what is h of x and what is the g function. So h of x is this part here. 8 plus 3x to the negative 2. That's the h of x. So, with that in mind, we can write this entire function as 7 times e to the h of x. So now, what is f prime x? Let's start again with that h prime x part. h x is a 8 plus 3x to the negative 2. So what is the derivative of that part h prime x? This is actually not so difficult. We put the result here in parentheses. It is negative 6 times x to the negative third. That's the power using the power rule of differentiation. Negative 6 times x to the negative third. So that is h prime x with h x being 8 plus 3x to the negative 2. What we now need is the derivative of the g part, but the g part is just 7 times e to the something. And e to the something, we know the derivative of 
that is just again e to the something. So we have 7 times e to the hx and then times negative 6x to the negative 3. So altogether we are having 7 times e to the hx. Now we substitute in again what hx is. 8 plus 3x to the negative 2 and then at the end h prime x which is negative 6 times x to the negative 3. We will end this video again with a test for yourself. So don't be lazy, check whether you really understand. Here is a function and I want you to think about f prime x. So this is the moment to pause this clip and take a piece of paper and try and solve this. I'll be back in a moment. So here I am. Let us try and tackle this problem. Let's take our time and explain it slowly. First, let's look at, uh, at this function. There are two sums in here. So somewhere in the process of finding the solution, the first derivative, we need to apply addition rules. Now, you also see that in the bigger picture there's a product of two part functions. So we will have to apply the product rule but back in here we will have to apply the chain rule because we have an e function that would be the g in our parlance and that's the input to that function is again a function which is 2x minus 1. So the chain rule will have to be applied here. So How are we going to start? So we have this green function here and the blue function. So we'll first have to think about the product rule. So we'll take the derivative of the green function, for which we will have to use the addition rule. So we have 1 over x minus 3x to the negative 4. And then we multiply just the blue function. Okay, remember the product rule. Negative 4 plus 2e to the 2x minus 1. So, for the product rule, we now have plus, and what we need to add is just the green function. So, it will be the log of x plus x to the negative 3. And then we need to multiply this with the first derivative of the blue function. So in here we have an addition rule which we need to apply and then a chain rule. So what we have so far just to summarize is h prime x times gx and then the green bit in the second line was hx and now we need to multiply this with g prime x gx being the blue function. So let's see where we are going with this. Firstly, in here, in the blue gx function, the first element is negative 4, but the derivative of this is 0, so that would just disappear. So let's look at the second part. 2e to the 2x minus 1, the orange bit, that's the inner function. We called it the hx before. And the derivative of that is merely a 2. That's going to be our final factor. And now we need the derivative of the red bit, and that is 2e to the original inner function. And that looks like unchanged, uh, but that is because of the exponential function. The first derivative of the exponential function just remains unchanged. So there's really no point of trying to simplify it. Perhaps one could simplify it a bit, but the derivative problem is solved.